Okay, so in this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to actually um, answer the question, you know, how do we generate lift? How do these foils generate lift? And how can we change the lift per boat? Or can you change the lift per boat? Or maybe that's the better question. And so what I want to show you here is um, this is a chart that our engineers created that help us um, and the installers know exactly how much lift is needed for different boats, right? So different lengths, weight, horsepower rates. So the, all those different boats are gonna go different speeds and so and they're gonna have different weights. And so this chart actually, what it, what it has here is we look at, on this side here, we've got the angle of attack that the foils need to be installed. And based upon the angle of attack, that, that's basically the angle at which the wing hits the water. And so as we increase the angle, a, a positive increase in the angle of attack actually generates more lift to the boat. But we don't, want, we don't want to lift it too much, right? So there is a formula that we use here. And so we look at the angle of attack and then across the top here, we're looking at the speed. And so this chart simply helps us determine, okay, at, for example, 25 miles an hour, and a two degree angle of attack, we're generating 1,057 pounds of lifting force. There is no other product on the market that actually can do what we can do where we can, we can physically change the lift for every single boat and every single in install. And so I'll show you in the product itself how that is accomplished. Okay, so here is um, what we call a torpedo bracket. And this is what mounts, uh, to the base plate and also to the wing. So the wing actually mounts here. And, um, but what's unique about this is that this torpedo bracket has got some, um, it's got some screws on the back. And as you can see here, it's got some adjustability within the torpedo bracket itself. And so I've got those loose enough right now so that I can show you how this works. So basically, if we wanted to increase the angle of attack, we could in increase it and lock down those screws in the back. If we need to decrease the angle of attack, according to that chart, we could do the same and then lock those in. So for each installation and for each boat, using this chart and the information, we can know exactly how this product needs to be installed on your boat to generate the best results. So thanks again for watching. If you've liked this video, uh, please subscribe because we've got a lot more similar videos that are gonna teach you guys how uh, the system works and what it actually does. So thanks again, we'll see you next time.